spacer and dragged it across everything to lighten it up. And then where would you guys like to start in terms of the charcoal? Yeah, but where in particular? Like the palm trees, the ground, or the, the grass, the shadows, the trunks. Palm trees, Rosie says. Okay. So let's go with uh, Rosie's suggestion. Let's start with the palm trees. Um, let's go with, I'm gonna go with the ones furthest back. So these three, one, two, three right here, okay? Looking at the image again, they're pretty dark, right? And we said the light's coming from the left because all the shadows are going to the right, okay? And so um, looking at them, starting at the bottom, the base is pretty dark. I'm gonna just grab my charcoal pencil, right? And then go in with the charcoal stick and start filling, filling it in, okay? And then taking, I'm gonna do my tissue paper first. And then getting a nice good base of value. Ooh, looks like I wrote on top of this paper. You can see some letters showing up here along the edge. All right, so just lay down a little bit of charcoal. I did it with a pencil and with the charcoal stick. And now I'm gonna go ahead and Take the tissue and blend it to get a nice layer. Remember the base of the trunks for the palm trees are bigger or wider at the base and they get narrow as you go up. Okay. So what part of the trunk for this is lighter? Where do we go? Or where is it lightest? along this trunk when you look at the picture the top yes over here is where it should be a little lighter okay um, and then notice how it's wide here and then it gets thinner as you go up on this part so I'm going to just go here and it should be at a slight angle by the way don't worry about the texture yet. We will add those in a minute and we're gonna use the eraser to add some of that texture that we want. Remember I said this is going to be more of a, um, an impressionistic drawing because there's a lot of little details in some of these areas that we won't necessarily be able to put in. And so it'll look a little impressionistic. All right. I feel like it should be thinner. So now I'm gonna take the eraser and make the trunk a little thinner, especially towards the top. And remember, everything's gonna have charcoal on it. So even if you go outside of the lines, you'll be fine. All right, let me go ahead and add the fronds. So you're gonna obviously want to use the pencil. And you can just go over or trace over some of the lines you already drew with the pencil. And then you're gonna go in with the tissue or uh, stump. A typical shape that you'll see on palm trees is this. Just so that everyone's aware of my regular pencil. Typically you'll have this almost like oval shape with these hanging down and then the top. So if you were to draw a shape around the palm trees, it'll look kind of like an oval like this, heavier at the bottom, right? So just be aware of that. Okay. 
now you can come in with the tissue and mainly in the center is where you want to do that and blend it those lines are still going to be visible i'm not putting a lot of pressure on these okay because i still want some of those lines to be defined but i also want them to blend around it okay and then you can come in with the eraser and clean up certain things that maybe you want more clean so remember your eraser is also a drawing tool when it comes to doing things in charcoal, okay? All right, now I need to separate the thickness of the tree trunk down here because it gets thinner, all right? So I'm gonna thin out this tree trunk right here even more. And the, the charcoal part is going to take probably, I would say, two classes. Because we're going to get the basics, the basic values the first time, and then the second time we'll add the little details. For now, I think we can leave this one. All right. Again, we want to get the basic values first, and then we'll come back. And add some more. Oh, I still need to make this thinner. There. Oh, it's looking better and it's not as dark at the top. And then all I'm gonna do with the pencil, I'm just gonna make, try and make the texture of the bark, or give the idea that the bark is coming out, okay? This is a little bit of detail. I just wanted to see what it's going to look like. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it there. And we're just kind of mimicking the texture of the bark. Now we're not drawing every single little bark in detail it's almost if I can compare it to like chicken scratch okay and if you notice right here it sticks out to the right a bit okay and you can also make those marks with an eraser if you made it too dark and just come in with the eraser and make it a little lighter all right, we'll leave that there for now. Let's move on to the other two over here on the right-hand side. Again, pretty dark at the base. Now, I made the mistake of going too dark at the beginning, so I'm going to try and make it a point to not make it too dark this time. I'm just adding some value. So again, remember the right side of the tree trunk for the palm tree is a little lighter for both of them. Use the pencil first, and then I'm going to go in with the charcoal stick and add a little bit more. When you're using charcoal, you can use your finger, okay, in terms of spreading it and blending it. Just don't get too carried away or make sure that your hands aren't super oily. The reason why you can use your finger when it comes to charcoal is because charcoal is much thicker uh, condensed than a uh, regular pencil or graphite. I think I might have gone too dark up here. So again, I put the values or the charcoal more towards the right of the tree trunk. And now I'm just kind of smearing it or fading it out towards the left of the tree trunk. Okay. Now I'm just going to move up to the fronds. And 
Again, I'm just kind of trace the lines that I made earlier or last class with the charcoal. That's another good thing about drawing things correctly the first time when you do it in pencil because once you put the, the charcoal on you can just trace some of those lines. Now I'm just going to blend these. Again I'm not adding a lot of pressure with the tissue. Just getting it so that we can get some of those values in there. If you look at this palm tree right here, they're a little more the fronds are a little more spread out so there's more open spaces between them. So just want to point that out. So when you're doing it on yours, some of those fronds are have more open spaces than the one we just did over here on the left. With the landscape, you want to try and mimic or get as best or as close to the actual thing as possible. That looks a little better. There's that open space there. And then doing the same thing over here. Remember these fronds should overlap. tissue again. And then I'm going to move on to the bigger palm tree that is in the middle ground before I add more things onto the ones right behind it. I'm going to go ahead and start with the stick the charcoal stick just because it's a bigger palm tree than the other ones we've been working on and again I'm gonna start on the right because it's darker on the right and then I'm gonna make my way towards the left by dragging the values over to the left this will start to get messy pretty quick be mindful of when you're putting your hand down Right? I'm left-handed, so I tend to smear things more. If you're right-handed, you maybe not have as much of an issue with it. Okay. And then we can start adding a little bit of detail. So it slowly should be starting to come to life. start taking shape. So now you see how your palm trees or your trunks, your tree trunks are basically cylinders, right? So you're, I'm shading them very similar to a cylinder with the light coming from the left, right? And I'm gonna do the same thing up here for the fronds. Just trace the lines that I made last class. And same thing. And keep in mind this top right background will have charcoal in the background, right? Because the sky isn't all just solid white. Look at the picture. The picture is darker on the top right and lighter as you go to the bottom left. Another way you can tell that the sun is coming from the left. Okay. All right, this palm tree looks a little too wide right now. So I'm going to take my eraser take this one, and just erase along that edge to make it look thinner. 
And remember how this palm tree kind of bends a little bit to the right, which is why it's a little wider down here at the base and then it looks like it's curving up. And then I'm gonna add the fronds that I just erased. All right. Are things getting a little too messy for people right now? Okay, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna add a little bit of the texture on the bigger pump tree. Taking the eraser, it works best if you have an eraser that has like bumps on it, like these that it's not like super smooth. So you use those bumps to your advantage. It's almost like it's like a stamp. I'm put pressing down and then I'm rotating a little bit. And you'll see kind of that texture that it makes. Uh, those. This is from writing someone or either myself or someone wrote on top of this paper. That's why you can see the letters or the lines there. Okay. So I'm just taking the eraser and I'm putting almost pressing and then rotating a little bit just to get that texture of the tree bark to kind of show through because it's not a perfectly clean cylinder right so you see how that's adding some of that texture and might have to add a little bit more charcoal if you took it off too much off with the eraser like i did down here okay all right so now we have four palm trees so far um, you know what, let's go, since we're in this section, let's go ahead and start adding uh, the shadows and making those dark areas. Just because it's an easy way to start filling in some of those uh, sections. So again, we drew those shapes last class. And all I'm doing is taking the charcoal stick and adding charcoal in those areas because those, those are the darkest. And then taking my tissue paper and just smearing or blending. It's okay if they end up coming out a little bigger than what you drew them before. Remember, we're going to still shade this part a little bit. It's not solid white. What do you guys think is the whitest part of our drawing or, or of the image? Yes, the whitest or the lightest. The sky, what part of the sky though, Rosie? You're absolutely right. What part? Yep, right here. Bottom left right here is the whitest or the lightest part, the zero, right? That is absolutely zero, remember on the pencil scale or the value scale, the zero. Yes, Matthew, this guy. Or did you think it was something else? And then there's this big shadow right here. And this shadow is probably the darkest. Weird question, Matthew. Oh, okay. A little more drawing. I didn't think it was that weird, but okay. All right. And there's a thin shadow coming out of this tree trunk. Now that we've been putting some of these values down on the foreground and the ground of the drawing, be mindful when you're drawing around it not to create more smudges or smearing so in between the shadows on the grass, it's pretty light. It's like a one or a two. So I'm just literally taking what I already have on my tissue and putting a little bit pressure on it to kind of transfer onto the paper. Just because this section of the grass is going to be pretty light. Okay. Again, we're just getting down the, the values the rough values 
of the space. And if you go too dark, just grab your eraser and drag it across. For example, I think I went a little too dark right here. So all I'm going to do is grab my eraser and lightly drag it across in that section. There we go, that's a little better. Remember, trust the process in terms of the drawing. Okay. Don't think that just because it doesn't look right right now means doesn't mean that it's gonna not get better. I'm gonna thin out the shadow compared it to the picture. I feel like the shadow is a little too wide look at the picture it's pretty thin uh, does anyone need me to do anything or explain something more or am I going too fast Monday. Ah, see okay I'll pause here how about that to help. I won't add anything else right now to let people catch up. <laughs> 